Hello everyone, so today we have six easy hairstyles inspired by game characters and these are all your most highly requested characters from Instagram so thank you so much for leaving your requests as always. So today we have three characters from Final Fantasy to start. We have Aerith, Lulu, and Riku. And we also have Chun Li from Street Fighter, Leixia from Soul Calibur, and Kane from Nier. Before we start, I have a quick update on my hair care kit in collaboration with Fanola. So it's actually all sold out. Thank you so much for making this such an amazing collaboration collaboration. This box was limited edition so it won't be coming back but I do have a permanent page on Fanola which you guys can check out on their website if you wanted to shop the parts of my hair care collection separately. So I will leave that down below in the description box. Quick disclaimer before we start, I had a little bit of an accident dyeing my hair so I know my split is like horrendously off-center but just, just ignore that. So first off, we're going to start with our girls from Final Fantasy and I'm starting off with Aerith. And let me just say, I'm really proud of how this turned out. It's really cute. So she has quite a large section of her hair on each side in the front and I'm going to curl those bits in a second later. So I'm sectioning off a pretty big part of my hair in the front, about two to three inches. I feel like I actually did a little bit too much. I think it would look better with a little bit less hair. But anyway, I'm keeping that out of the way temporarily while I tie up the rest of my hair in a mid-height ponytail. Then from here, we're just going to do a rope braid and it's super simple but has a really striking effect. So splitting my ponytail in half, I'm twisting both sections of my hair over to the right. And then after twisting a little bit down the hair, I'm crossing the hair over itself on towards the left and I'm just going to repeat this process. So again, I'm twisting to the right and then crossing over to the left until I reach to the bottom of my hair and then I'm securing that off with an elastic. And this works both ways. You can do an either direction that you like. Just remember that whatever direction you're twisting to, you want to cross in the opposite direction. And that way the hair stays in place and it won't unravel on itself. And then Aerith has a pink bow on the base of her ponytail and I have this really cute like crinkled sheer ribbon and I'm just clipping that onto the top of my ponytail. And that's it for this hairstyle. Again, I'm actually really proud of how this turned out. I actually learned how to rope braid just for this hairstyle and I've never really worn rope braids before but I'm surprised by how striking it looks. It's super easy to do, actually quicker to do than a regular three strand braid. And so I feel like I'm really inspired to start wearing rope braids and incorporating them in like my daily hairstyles. And it especially looks really cool with a split hair color. So again, I'm like furthering the split hair agenda. I think everyone should have split hair. Now the next character we're going to do is Lulu and I believe the request for Lulu and Riku from Final Fantasy came from the same person and they said haha good luck um, and I feel like that just fueled my burning determination to make something work. So first off I'm gathering all of the hair around the crown of my head into a small really really high ponytail and I'm just going to smooth this out with my brush as much as possible and secure this off with an elastic and then I'm taking the rest of my hair and I'm gathering gathering it up to meet my smaller ponytail and I'm pulling this all together to make one really high ponytail. This double method ensures that your high ponytail won't start slipping throughout the day. And you can definitely incorporate hairspray into this part. I just didn't because I was going to take this down in like 10 minutes anyway. But if you want a super smooth, sleek high ponytail, you can definitely add some hairspray to this. So I'm sectioning off my ponytail into one third. So I'm taking the first one third of my ponytail and I'm clipping that away. And then I'm taking the second one third and I'm also clipping that away. And then I'm taking the first one third and I'm joining it with the final one third and that would create two thirds of the ponytail. Then with this two thirds of my ponytail, I'm braiding this off into a simple three strand braid and then I'm securing that off with an elastic. Then with the middle section of my ponytail, I'm separating this into another three sections and then with each three sections, I'm braiding those off. So all together, I have three small braids and one bigger braid. Then taking the bigger braid, I'm wrapping this around into a bun around the smaller braids, which will hang out the center of my bun. Then taking some bobby pins, I'm securing this braid in place. And again, I just want to give a shout out to these colored bobby pins. These are my favorite in the world and they're super secure and I honestly only need one of them to make this entire hairstyle stay in place. That's it for Lulu's hairstyle. I actually had some Chinese hairpins like she wears in her bun, but I totally forgot to put them in. But I guess you can kind of just like use your imagination. Other than that, actually, I'm really pleasantly surprised with how well this hairstyle turned out. I think it looks really cute, kind of edgy and spunky, and definitely something more unique. For our next hairstyle, we're going to tackle Riku from Final Fantasy. 
So first off, I'm sectioning about two inches of hair at the front of my face. And then she has quite shorter layers than I do. So I'm just gathering the rest of my hair and I'm twisting it up and I'm clipping it away in place just to have the length of my hair. Moving back to the front pieces of my hair, I'm just going to simply braid those off into three strand braids on each side. Then moving back to our ponytail, I'm just going to start making some random braids. And then taking the braid that I made in the front, I'm just looping this backwards and I'm bobby pinning it underneath my ponytail. And honestly, you can kind of pin this wherever you want because the hair sort of waterfalls over everything in the back anyway. And so I wasn't too concerned about bobby pins sticking out. And that's it for this hairstyle. Honestly, pretty shook. I think this turned out ridiculously cute. It has the same vibes as Riku where it's really spunky looking. There's a lot of braids. The ponytail is kind of the same length as she has it, even though my hair is much longer. And I think that this is just a really charming hairstyle and it's super fun. Our next character is going to be Chun Li from Street Fighter. And first I'm going to gather up all of my hair to make two pigtails. And then I'm simply twisting away my pigtail away from my face and then I'm winding it around itself until it collapses into a bun. And this is my favorite way to create buns. It's super easy and it's also loose and comfortable. Then I'm just securing this in place with some bobby pins and then I'm repeating on the other side. And I've shown you guys how to do these twisted buns before in the past, but what I really love about her hairstyle is the little bun covers that she has. And my wearable version of this is taking some thin ribbons and wrapping this around my buns and tying it into a bow. And that's it for this hairstyle. I know super quick and super easy, but extremely cute and actually very wearable. I really like this because I think it gives me inspiration for more ways to wear my hairstyles and to dress them up in different ways by not just using hair accessories, but also kind of whatever you have laying around the house, like different types of ribbons. Our next hairstyle is going to be Kane from Nier. She has a very asymmetric hairstyle going on. So first on my right side, I'm going to separate a pretty large section of my hair and I'm leaving this out in the front. And then with the rest of my hair, I'm bringing it all over to the left and I'm securing this into a mid-height ponytail. From here, I'm just braiding this off into a three-strand braid and then I'm securing this with an elastic. And I'm tying this off into a little bundle like this just so that it's easier to hide the ends of the hair from peeking out. I know that can Canonically, she does have the ends of her hair peeking out from her braid, but personally, I don't really like that look. I think it just looks a little bit nicer in real life if you tuck away the ends. Then from here, I'm just taking my braid and I'm looping this around the back and I'm pushing the bundle underneath the elastic and I'm pinning this in place. Then to represent the flower motif that she has, I'm clipping these tri-colored daisy hairpins on the pink side of my hair and that's it for this hairstyle. I think that this hairstyle is definitely interesting and I think that it could be cuter for someone who honestly just has shorter hair. I feel like my braid is like really fat and chunky and just like ginormous because my hair is really long, but I think that this hairstyle can definitely be cuter for other people. Now for our last hairstyle, we are going to cover Lei Xia from Soul Calibur. And honestly, I was so happy that I got this request. I actually really love Soul Calibur and I loved playing Lei Xia and I love her hair too. This definitely isn't a daily hairstyle. I know it's like so ridiculous, but I wanted to put it in this video anyway because again, I love her and I love Soul Calibur and we're doing game characters and so I just wanted to sneak this in. So first I'm sectioning about two inches of hair on each side of the front and then I'm taking the rest of my hair and I'm tying those off into two high pigtails. Then I'm braiding those off into three strand braids. And then for the front sections of my hair, I'm tying those off with an elastic right by my temple and then I will revisit those later. Taking one of my braid, I'm going to loop it over itself and then taking again some super strong bobby pins, I'm pinning this down as close to the elastic as possible. I'm taking the rest of the braid and I'm looping this around the base of the braid. And then I'm pinning that in place with another bobby pin. And honestly, you can see like how shocked I was by how well this actually works and how well it actually stays in place. Like, I felt like this was just like, it was not gonna work. It's like too gravity defined. There's enough structure in this braid and like all of these like loopies that it actually is super secure. Then for accessories, I'm taking these little plum blossom clips and some pink floral crystal hair clips. I'm adding the floral hair clips over the elastics in the front and this is gonna help it stay down a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna accessorize at the base of the braids with. My 
my plum blossom hair clips and that's it for this hairstyle again thank you so much to whoever requested this hairstyle like it's so ridiculous and again love soul caliber love this character and it was just a really fun hairstyle to do because again like i really did not believe that this was possible but it is and it looks amazing so thank you so much for watching another hairstyle tutorial and i want to give a super special shout out to all of my lovely patron supporters on patreon so thank you so much to ckl chelsea selena lee gabrielle kina crudone tiffany kennedy sweet moon bubble georgia Alyssa, ruby lena's rain erin rebecca gregorio tina kylan fair and brianna i've been really having an amazing time doing my creator courses so thank you guys so much for just partaking and just being interested in the things that i have to share it really means the world to me so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys again next week